Welcome to this Mission Sunlight Extra. Adventist World Radio is the broadcast arm of the Seventh-day Adventist Church for radio. We broadcast around the world on over a thousand stations in over a hundred languages to the hardest to reach places on the planet. Our motto, no walls, no borders, no limits. That's because radio can go to the places where missionaries can't go. We can reach into homes and hearts in a way that other types of avenues can't. And so AWR is a strategic way the church, that the church is reaching around the world to preach the gospel message, to take the news that Jesus is coming soon to every person on this earth. In a very special way also, we are expanding beyond just the traditional forms of FM and AM. We're now getting into digital audio broadcasting. Of course, we're still broadcasting on shortwave from Guam and from other stations around the world to reach literally every corner of the planet. But we've also gotten into some very new exciting methods of transmitting the gospel through social media, through the internet, through cell phones, which of course almost everyone has today. And so we have discovered that through cell phones, people can share the good news of Jesus' soon return, the truths of scripture with their friends and neighbors. Literally in seconds, thousands of people can receive the messages of the Bible through your cell phone. And so we've been trying to pioneer in these new avenues of sharing the gospel and we've seen incredible results. Uh, God has just really opened the doors in major ways through these new technologies as well as traditional radio broadcasting to help get the message out to the entire world in this generation. And that's the, that's the mission of AWR, to help the church uh, accomplish the mission of broadcasting the gospel. AWR is very excited about our new focus too, which is that we're not just about broadcast. You know, for years we've been broadcasting, and, and broadcasting is great. It's important to broadcast, but it's not just the broadcasting. It's leading people from the broadcast to baptism, leading them to make a decision for Jesus and to be involved in a local church. That's really where the rubber meets the road. And so we've said, how can we help accomplish this goal of leading people from broadcast to baptism? And that's why we have a bold new initiative at AWR, which is called the Centers for Digital Evangelism, where we are establishing centers around the world that will help connect our listeners and those that are, are finding us through the internet and through social media, connect them to Bible studies, connect them to someone who will pray with them, with the ultimate goal of connecting them to a local church where they can be baptized, be involved, and become a member of their local Seventh-day Adventist church. Adventist World Radio is very grateful for the special partnership that we have with ASI, Adventist Layman's Services and Industries. The members of ASI have made many projects around the world possible through their generous support, their prayers, and um, involved, being involved in what we do. Radio stations, evangelistic projects, in some of the hardest to reach countries on earth have been sponsored largely in part by ASI members. And we want to thank uh, ASI for their strategic partnership and support of these projects. In a special way, uh, we are very grateful for ASI's support uh, very recently of our Centers for Digital Evangelism project. Uh, ASI saw the vision in establishing these centers around the world and by God's grace, we have started our first one in, in Manila, Philippines, thanks largely in part to the support of ASI. And we want to thank ASI for that generous support. And we do believe that that center and the many more that we hope to establish around the world will lead to many, many people coming to know Jesus and being prepared for his soon return. So thank you, ASI. And we pray that we will continue to work together into the future. And you know, one of the key things about ASI that I love is that ASI is all about engaging lay people in ministry. It's not just the pastors that will finish the work, it's all of us. And in fact, um, a very wise woman, Ellen White, said many years ago a powerful statement. She said that it's not until the pastors and the members come together that the work of God on this earth will be finished. And so it's not just the church, the pastors, the official people who are paid to do the work, it's all of us that need to do the work, right? And so I love that about ASI. And at AWR and with the General Conference, we have a, an initiative that is especially powerful that really engages all members of the church. That's called total member involvement. The idea that it's not just a few that are called to do the work, 
It's all of us. Each one of us has a role to play. Total member involvement. Nobody's exempt. If you're a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, God is calling you to do your part. And so wherever you are, whatever your job, whatever your skill set, you may not think you have uh, many talents or abilities, but God wants to use you to help tell others the good news of Jesus' is soon return. So TMI, or Total Member Involvement, is an initiative of the General Conference to encourage our members around the world to use their gifts and talents for God. And we've seen incredible results. A few years ago in Rwanda, the first TMI campaign in Rwanda where we had local people preaching. We had people from North America and Europe coming. Over 2,000 sites across Rwanda. They had an unprecedented number of baptisms there. Over 100,000 baptisms um, as a result of that TMI campaign. Now that's just one example. There have been TMI initiatives around the world. But the point is that when all of us uh, do our part, however small or big we may think it is, it doesn't matter. We just have to be willing to do our part. God can use us in ways beyond our expectation uh, to reach others with the good news of Jesus and of His soon return. Adventist World Radio has work across the continent of Africa. From the Sahara in the north to the tip of Africa in the south, the Three Angels messages are being broadcast on the radio waves all across that great continent. And we're grateful for the many people, the, the producers, the volunteers that make those broadcasts possible across the many countries of Africa in many languages and so many varied cultures and lands. But there's still a great work to be done. There are cities yet to be reached. There are areas that still need uh, to have Adventist radio in them. And so we're continuing to pray and to look for avenues into those areas so that all of Africa can be blanketed with the good news of Jesus Christ and of His soon return. Thank you for joining us for this Mission Sunlight Extra.